the reptilians have the ability to literally inhabit or possess our bodies, just like stories of demonic possession from the old days. The reptilians can do this. They can take over control of our bodies and they can also interbreed with us. The Draco reptilians, which are the leadership cast of reptilians, let's say, they also are psychic vampires. They love to, to feed on our emotions, especially strong emotions like terror, anger, heartbreak. They set up a lot of people so that they can put them in situations where these emotions will come out. And then they can just invisibly harvest that energy because of course, we're, our bodies are putting out energy all the time. And the more intense the emotion is, the more energy that we put out from our bodies and they can just basically feed off of that. But the Draco also, they're carnivorous. They, they like to eat humans, especially babies and young children because they haven't polluted their bodies. And there's millions of people that have gone missing over the past several decades that have never been accounted for. Where do you hide millions of people? You can't hide them. You know, they're being turned over to these aliens. They'll do anything they can to get them as terrified as possible because when their bodies are, are um, infused with the maximum amount of adrenaline, they get like a kind of a high off of it that they've kind of become addicted to. It's like a drug to them. It's a terrible thing. It's one of the most difficult things to talk about. And it's certainly all by itself. That's a reason not to disclose the truth. The aliens which are in control of this place are malevolent, they're hostile, they're invasive, intrusive. They don't care at all about our well-being or our comfort. We are, we are seen by them as being livestock. We are a harvestable commodity. We are human resources. It has been active in human history as long as we've had history. There have been gods from the skies that come down and interact with humans. There have been reptilian rulers that demand human sacrifice all throughout all throughout the history of the world. To get to the top levels of, of the Black Ops world, you have to basically sell out to the aliens in order to get there. That's why the head of the National Security Agency is also the founder of the Temple of Set. If you know what that is, it's it's yeah. devil worship. And and they're they're all involved in that. And that's a whole nother subject. But humans disappear from this world all the time and they're never seen again. They like to take street people because the cops don't care what happens to them when they get reported as missing. And apparently some of them are sold into slavery and some of them are just consumed. I mean, how does the president come out and speak about that publicly? The president doesn't even have the power to order disclosure to happen because he doesn't know the whole truth himself. It's because there's classification, security classification so high that he can't even know they exist unless someone tells him. The attitude of the military is any president is going to be gone within four to eight years, but the military will remain and the aliens will remain. And so will the projects that we're engaged in together. And so the president has to be informed that the aliens are here, but there are at least 16 levels of security classification above what the president is cleared for. They treat the president like they treat any other soldier, basically. He's told what he needs to know in order to do his job and no more. The government is in this up to their necks. And a true, a true full public disclosure would require disclosing the reason that the aliens are really here and what they're really doing to us. I don't think that people could hear that without starting a new revolution. We would basically dismantle our government in order to stop them from doing what they're doing because we are being handed over to the aliens. They already control everything in this world that they need to control. We are not in control of our destiny. Our destiny as a race depends on our relations with alien beings. It's better to know the truth than to go through life under an illusion. And most of the things that we're told turn out on examination to not be true. There's always a level of deception in this world. No matter what you look at, nothing works the way you think it does. We've got to come to grips with what's going on here because this, this planet is in a lot of trouble right now. People don't realize it.